Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Breakfast Television. It is Vision Month, a great time to book an eye health exam. And as optometrist Ferris Sunderji tells us, that exam can look for more than just your eye health. Good morning to you, Farah. Thank Good you for morning, being here. So what do we know about people in eye exams and what people don't know about how important they are? So statistics show that 85% of Albertans are unaware that an eye exam can reveal serious medical conditions, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, as well as various forms of cancer. Wow. In fact, some of these are first detected on an eye exam, so an eye exam can potentially save your life. That is incredible, and you're right, I don't think a lot of people realize that. So tell us a little bit about what happens at the eye exam. So during an eye exam, we look at all parts of the eye, but in specific, we're looking at the retina, which is the back tissue of the eye. Which I think we're seeing right here on the screen, correct? And yes. so on this tissue, this is the one part of the body we don't have to operate on in order to see blood vessels as well as the nerve. And so what we're looking for is in office, we have tools such as digital photography, our OCT, which is like an ultrasound of the eye, as well as the visual field. And so when we're looking at these tests for conditions such as diabetes and leukemia, we're looking for bleeding at the back of the eye. For high blood pressure, we're looking at a narrowing or weakening of the arteries. And for brain tumors, we're looking for specific patterns on the field or a disruption of the field. And so if any of these are diagnosed, um, we work closely with your family physician as well as local ophthalmologists in case additional testing or treatments are required. So it's really important patients are coming in on a yearly basis for their eye exam. And medically necessary visits are now covered for all age groups for conditions such as diabetes and high blood pressure when you see your optometrist. Now this does not mean the glasses prescription. This is simply right. monitoring the condition itself. Okay. I think that's a really important distinction to make for people. So this isn't about like seeing better visually, like getting new glasses or contacts. This is actually really when it comes to the health of your eye, but the health of your whole body. Totally. The eyes are like the windows to the body. So not only are we checking your eye health, but we're looking at your overall health. Okay, so fascinating that you can see all of those diseases just by looking in the eye. Has it really changed over the years in terms of, you were mentioning all of this technology that you have now, that must have really changed things. Totally, it helps us monitor when you come back for future visits, we can go back and look at previous scans to see if things are getting worse. Um, so it's really nice and the collaboration between us and your family physician and local ophthalmologist just ties in the healthcare portion of it right, right. so that everyone's in the loop and you're getting the best care. Right. And you had mentioned this to go every year, but how important is it to really go every year whether you need a new set of glasses or not? So it's kind of like, do you want to see for the rest of your life? And right. so that's the question we ask patients. So just like you get your teeth cleaned every year, it's important to get your eyes checked every year. Right. You often say when we go there, this is not, uh, you know, a one time. I mean, you get one set of eyes, right? That's right. That's it. We so. can't give you a replacement unless it's an artificial eye. <laughs> right. I think I was talking about 3D printed corneas today, but that's down the road. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so go see your uh, optometrist on an annual basis. Is it the same thing for children? Exactly. So Alberta Healthcare covers um, children ages 0 to 19 on a yearly basis and same with anyone over 65 years of age. Okay, terrific. So it's covered for kids and just get in there and get it done. Most insurance policies cover these visits as well for adults, don't they? Exactly. Exactly. Terrific. Farah, thank you so much for being here. Fascinating information. Thank you.